Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Chips today. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to do another uh, live video with you guys. Um, today, we're going to talk about something um, that I'm very excited about that really speaks to myself. It speaks to everyone. Um, we're going to talk about who is your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? And in the, this, we're going to talk about the story of the Good Samaritan. And starting the story of Good Samaritan, Jesus was telling this story. But the reason he told this story is because there was a certain lawyer. He came to Jesus and he said, Jesus, what do I need to do to inherit life, to internal life, to inherit internal life? And Jesus looked at him and he said, do you know the law? Do you know what the law says? And that lawyer, I'm sure he's like... I know exactly what that law is. I got that. That's no problem. First, it says in, in Luke 10, 27, it says, this is what the lawyer answered. He said, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind. And Jesus says, that's right. Then the lawyer said, oh, yeah, and love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus says, that is right. You're correct. But Jesus says, do you know who your neighbor is? Luke 10, 29 says, but he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, and who is my neighbor? He was trying to, he was trying to confuse Jesus, trying to you know, question Jesus, say, hey, who is my neighbor? I need to know. You, know, who, you, you say you love my neighbor. You know, we got a lot of neighbors. You know, we can sit down in church here. And have a neighbor sitting beside of us. That's a neighbor. Well, you got your neighbor at your house, right? You know, you got a house next door somewhere beside you. That's your neighbor. So who is your neighbor? Do you know who your neighbor is? And today, that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about who is your neighbor and talk about being nice to your neighbor. Or are you mean to your neighbor? And so this is what the story, this is what Jesus goes into. And this is what the Good Samaritan is all about talking about who is your neighbor. And, it, and Jesus goes into this story. And here, I got some friends today that's going to help me out. It's a different little style of friends, different little uh, way of doing it, but it, um, they're going to help me out. So I'll be right back. So Jesus said there was this guy from... Jerusalem went down to Jericho. This is this gentleman. And he was going down the road, just walking down the road, minding his own business. And all of a sudden, there's this robber come out. And the Bible says, Jesus says they beat him up. <laughs> Robbed him, took everything he had, put it in their pockets. And then as they beat him up, they, they put him on the side of the road and took off his clothes. I mean, the, the Bible said they took him all the way off. And took, stole every bit of his clothes. Stole his wallet, his money. He was beat up. And Jesus said he was half dead. Half dead. Almost dead. I mean, hello. This dude is hurt bad. So they took all his clothes and they took it and took it away. Well, then came... A priest and here comes this priest and he's looking and walking down the road and he sees this guy a Jew on the side of the road he looks whoa what in the world he rose all the way on the other side of the road Jesus says and he walks away from him and he doesn't even ignore he ignores him acting like he's not even there what a what a what a nice guy right leaves a guy half dead could be even a guy that went to his church because they came from Jerusalem. Then came a Levite. A Levite came down through the road. This guy's a Jew. He came from Jerusalem. And he looked and he turned and he saw this guy. He's laying on the side of the road. And he went all the way, all the way on the other side of the road to avoid him. He's like, I ain't touching that guy. There's no way. I mean, what could it be going through their minds? You see a guy half beat, half dead and beat up. I mean, go get some help. Go get some help, dude. 
No, he doesn't go get no help. He doesn't even look his way. He runs on the other side of the road and gets away from him. And they could have just called 911. They could have just called, went and found somebody to help. But of course, we know that in the Bible days, they didn't have no telephones. But thank God, there was this guy. A good Samaritan. And he comes down the road, just walking along, and he sees this guy. And he says, oh, no, you know, I mean, he can imagine what's going through. And he comes over, and he checks him out. He looks at him, and he sees he's half dead. He's still alive, but my goodness, he's naked and everything else. So he covers him up. And the Bible says he puts him on his horse. And lets him ride his horse and he takes him to the next town. He takes him all the way to the next town and helps him out. So I'm going to put him back there. I'm going to put the Good Samaritan right here. This Good Samaritan just didn't take him to. He didn't want to. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. Hey, stop. Hold your head up. Be proud that you helped the guy out. There he goes. All right. There you go. Now you're proud. And so. This guy, the good Samaritan, helps this guy out, takes him to an inn, okay, takes him to a hotel, nowadays, takes him to a hotel, tells the hotel guy, says, here, here's 30 bucks, I'll pay for his room right now, then here's another $100, will you please help him and go put some clothes on him and, and feed him and get whatever, whatever issues needs help, whatever needs help. Tomorrow I'll be back. Now listen to what he told him. He said, I'll be back tomorrow. He said, if you have to spend any more money than what I gave you, I will pay you back. Pretty good guy. This guy right here is very thankful for this guy. Very thankful. And Jesus says at the end of that story, he says, so who would be the neighbor? And that lawyer looked, he said, the one that showed mercy. The one that showed mercy. And that's the Good Samaritan. Here's the cool thing about this story. Cool thing, but sad thing at the same time. It makes me want to cry. These two guys here are Jews. These are Jews. This guy here is a Jew. Why wouldn't they help their own brother out? Because he might have looked different on the side of the road? Because he was hurt? He was naked? Man, guys, what in the world are you thinking? This guy here helped him out. And listen to this. This is really cool. That guy and that guy they don't like each other. That guy and that guy and that guy hated the Samaritans. They did not like them at all. They refused to help them. They would not help a Samaritan. But this Samaritan, that's the reason the Bible, the reason Jesus talks so much about this good Samaritan in the Bible is because it was more than just because he was hurt. It was because they were enemies in the Bible. This guy and this guy was enemies. But this guy saw a need and said, I'm going to help this guy out. I'm going to help him out. Today, we have so many, so many conflicts between each other because we might not look the same. Because we might not talk the way we talk the same. Or maybe because we think different. Just because somebody else thinks different than you doesn't mean you should hate them. Doesn't mean you should dislike them. Jesus says we should love them and help them. Because good Samaritan helped this Jew. Jesus 
came, he said, your first commandment is to love me, to love the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength. The second greatest commandment is to love thy neighbor. Who is your neighbor? Who is your neighbor? Anybody you walk beside. Doesn't matter what color they are. It doesn't matter how tall or how short they are. It doesn't matter if they're a girl or they're a boy. It doesn't matter what they think about you. What matters is what you think about them. That's what matters. Do you love them? Would you help them as the Good Samaritan helped this person? Would you go out and sacrifice something to help somebody else? At school, there could be so many things we could do at school and be nice and be kind to each other. Somebody might want to play kickball with you. They're, they're no good at kickball. They're not, they're, let's not pick them. Let's not do that. Do you want to be picked? Yes. Love yourself. Love your neighbor as yourself. Do you want to play? Yeah. So pick him. Two, make sure they get to play. Or you could be, nah, I don't want, uh uh. No way. They're not playing on my team. That's not showing love. That is not showing love. What about sharing? When you share things with each other, share things with your friends, help them out. You see somebody struggling. You see somebody that needs a door open. Open the door. Help them out. There's so many things we can do to show our love. And just the little things can show love to our neighbor. Who's your neighbor? The kids that you go to school with. Who's your neighbor? Your mom, your dad, your sisters and brothers. Who's your neighbor? The people you go to church with. Who's your neighbor? The person that your mom and dad are driving down the road, that you're riding in the car with, that person that passes you, that person that is beside the road, that is around you, is your neighbor. We got to love one another. Jesus came. and He said we have to love one another. That question was, was asked. How am I to make it to heaven? And Jesus answered it. You got to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And that's including following all his roles. And when you love him, all that falls in place. Get baptism in Jesus' name. Filling in the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then he says, you know what? then you've got to love all your neighbors. You've got to love them all as yourself. If you want that done to you, do it to them. Love them. Let me ask you, do you want to be a good Samaritan at school? Do you want to be a good Samaritan at your home, at your church? Or do you want to be one of these guys? And I, right now, I hope that you answered the Good Samaritan. I want to be a Good Samaritan. Now let's raise our hands up and let's just thank Jesus for it. Thank you, Lord, for all you're doing, Lord Jesus. We thank you, God, for your goodness and your mercy. And, Lord, I ask, I ask you to help me, God, to be a Good Samaritan to those around me, to love my neighbor as myself, to love Lord, I ask you, Lord, to touch each and every one, Lord, that I pass. Allow me to be a witness, to be a light, God, to show love to those that are around me, that are everyday life, Lord, that comes around my life, that comes beside me, walks beside me, or comes around me, or in the grocery store, or anywhere I go, at school, at church. Allow me to love my neighbor. 
Help me, Lord, to do better. Help me, God. Thank you, Jesus. Now let's just praise God. Hallelujah. We praise you. We magnify your name. If you feel like praising, go ahead. Speak out loud to God and talk to God out there in your home, anywhere you're at right now. You can speak out loud to him. You can speak out loud to him. If you're on the road, if you're driving in a car right now, whatever it is, just speak out. Talk out loud to God. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. I praise your name, God. Come on, tell you, Lord, Lord, come on, tell you. I praise you, Jesus. I thank you for your presence. Right now, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.